Today I want to show you a super easy way you can color grade your drone footage. Hey, my name's Jake and I create content here to help solo creators on the go. Today I want to show you a super easy and simple way you can color grade your drone footage using Final Cut Pro and the built-in color correction tools. But if you're looking for something like a LUT that you can just drop on your footage and have it be 95% of the way there, then I created a LUT for the Air 2S. It's down, linked in the description. It's free and it will work with any software that uses a .cube file. These tips will work on pretty much any footage, but to get the most leeway, it's important that you shoot in a flat color profile. So D-Log for the Air 2S, the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 3, and D-Cine-like in any other drones from DJI or whatever your drone might be, the flatter the color profile, the better because it gives you more leeway. And it's also important that you shoot with a correct white balance because that will make a difference on how your footage looks on the end. It's an extremely difficult thing to fix in the edit. So shooting with the correct white balance and auto generally does a good job, but otherwise shooting with the right white balance will make a big difference. And now let's jump into Final Cut Pro. So I already have a library built, which is called Cinematch. And then I made a project called Air 2S Easy Color Grade. Over here, I keep my footage organized by camera. That way it's easy for me to know, oh, I have one Air 2S footage for that or GoPro or A7S III whatever it is, and sometimes I'll call it other things, but for the most part, that's how I organize it. We're gonna pull in this clip here, which I like most of that. And then I also wanted to pull in something else. Uh, oh, actually, that's not bad there. Nah, well, yeah, let's let's pull in this this bit here. So here we've got two different clips. And the reason I wanted one moving and one stationary is I'll show you it a little bit. Now there's easy, there's the easiest way to color grade this stuff and it works for GoPros or anything like that if you shot it in a fairly flat color profile. First, you wanna make sure that you can see your video scope. So you go up here in the preview area and click view video scopes and that will show you here all of the different, the waveforms. And you wanna make sure that this is on waveform and Luma, that's key right there, waveform and Luma. And again, this is a very simple way of doing it. There's much comp more complicated ways of color grading, but this is fast and easy and really it works. And then you wanna go up here to the little diamond and click on that and you have color, saturation and exposure by default. So we're gonna start with exposure. You wanna keep your exposure, this waveform between zero and 100. You don't want to go too much above 100 and you don't want to go too much below zero because uh, just depending on what you're shooting. Now, if your subject is more important than your highlights, then you can overexpose it because the subject is the most important thing. But for the most part, we're just going to talk about this. So we've got a spot here where you've got bright sunlit snow covered mountains. And then over here where there's obviously some really dark uh, foreground in the water there. So we're going to start here and you can see the mountains in the background. And I'm gonna push that up just a little bit. I wanna get just a little bit more exposure, even though I'm going above 100. And then I'm pulling the, the shadows down to where I can just see them start to touch zero. You go too dark, and obviously it's gonna to start to lose all your shadow detail. So I don't wanna go that dark, but I'm probably gonna go right in there. And a little trick for this, if you don't wanna add saturation, but you wanna get a little bit better looking color, right out of the bat, then you can bring your midtones down just a little bit, not a lot, just a tiny little bit, and it will sort of help your colors pop just a little bit more. And then you flip over to the saturation tab. So this is just the exposure change before and after, and then we're gonna go to saturation. And here, it's really easy. For the most part, you can just push the saturation up until it looks pretty much what you want it to look like in, uh, and what it looked like with your normal eye. For me, I feel like that is right about right, probably 70%. So again, this is before and this is after. And that's all I've done, no LUTs or anything like that. So let's move to the second clip and see what we can do with that here. Second clip, it's a little bit different exposure wise, but still we can push it just a hair. I'm gonna bring the shadows down just a little bit. I don't wanna bring it down too much. And on this one, I'm actually gonna push the midtones up just a touch because you can see here, if I pull it down at all, um, I start to disappear, the subject starts to disappear. So I'm gonna push it up just a tiny bit just to um, expose the kind of shadows in the, the darker area since I was in the shadow or in the, in the shade. And then again, same thing, push the saturation up until it looks Natural. Now, if I go to 100% on this, it looks really unnatural, especially because I'm wearing a bright red jacket. 
But even on this one, I can push it to about 70% and it looks about right. So again, that's before, that's after. Those are some super simple, super basic ways that you can color grade footage, drone footage, or any sort of GoPro flat color profile footage and make it look pretty good in a hurry. Now, you can also do a lot of other things. You can mess with the what colors you want in there and things like that, but this is supposed to be simple and easy, and that's simple and easy. Now, if you wanna learn other ways you can improve your videography and photography, click or tap right there. I put together a small playlist. As always, if you have questions, ask me in the comments below or join my live stream, which happens Wednesday nights at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Alaska. Usually I say that the other way around. Either way, I will see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.